Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's going again. Notre Dame has scored. To begin the 1998 season, Notre Dame would face a challenge from fifth-ranked Michigan. The Wolverines were coming off a split national championship campaign and were led by future Super Bowl star Tom Brady. The Wolverines drove for a field goal on their first possession, but the Irish answered quickly when Autry Denson ripped off a 58-yard run on Notre Dame's first offensive play of the game. Jackson, quick toss to Denson. Denson's run led to a field goal, but it was one of just a few big offensive plays for Notre Dame in the first half. The first 30 minutes were controlled by the visitors. The Irish defense held strong at the goal line multiple times, forcing a field goal for Michigan's second score of the game and barely allowing Brady to sneak it across and provide the Wolverines a 13-6 lead at halftime. The momentum switched in the third quarter when a Jim Sanson field goal cut the lead to 13-9. Michigan fumbled on the kick return and the Irish took advantage soon after with a touchdown toss from Jarius Jackson to Dan O'Leary. Now ahead 16-13, the Irish defense made sure the momentum remained on the side of the home team. It's freshman Dave Terrell, a blistering speed, caught the backfield. So five minutes left in the third. Notre Dame with another chance. Jackson stumbling as he tries to get out of the pocket. Wide open. It's a touchdown. Notre Dame, Rakai Nelson. <laughs> oh, man. The Wolverines tried to answer, but Jimmy Friday blocked a field goal attempt, which led to an Autry Denson scoring jaunt. And just like that, a close game was quickly turned into a rout. Denson was not done yet as he tacked on another rushing touchdown to account for the final score of 36 to 20, ending Michigan's 12 game winning streak and setting the record for the most points scored by an Irish team in the history of the Notre Dame Michigan series. Oh!